<laughs> and now, John Kim, the 18-year-old born in Toronto, needs to take that energy and use it for himself now. John Kim, John Kim representing Canada and I just think Ted he another skater so very capable and, and you often reference the elusive need for a, a clean performance and when John can deliver that especially knowing the difficult plan program content that he has with the ability to land both quad cycle and quad toe he could be such a force in the future well, he has a lot of energy and performance as well. You see those neat sliding moves throughout the program. There's the triple loop. He's strong and powerful, and he's just making, at this stage of his career, he's 18, some little mistakes sometimes that um, sort of cost him a little bit. There's the quad sow cow. That's all the way around, but he has to step out. So good you know, progress made on that element, and then comes back down the ice for the triple toe loop. 
And double toe loop. So I'm not sure if that was going to be a triple toe. No, no. Sure. But here he comes back down the ice. And good speed on the triple loop. Nice and straight, tight in the air, a little forward on the landing. He's strong and he's very capable, but he also has a bit of passion of performance as well. Let's speed this up a little bit here. It's taking a little bit too long. Mm -hmm. Just and a little messy there. We see some of the later jumps. Yeah, his coach Mikey Gilman, as we see this good body movement work within the choreo sequence, it explained that the turnaround between the events having competed in Ankara and Turkey is a new challenge. And, it, you know, it was openly, wonderfully honest from the coach to acknowledge that it is indeed a challenge to, to compete in relatively quick succession from event to event and to do so in different, such, such different locations when your training base is in North America and you're competing in Europe and then you're competing in China, it, it is a challenge. And so this just adds up to the long, hopefully the long-term athlete development plan. I don't know with John and his coaches, Mikey and Jonathan, whether or not they have their eyes set on 2030, but this will all serve to enhance his experiences leading towards bigger events to come. Yeah, it's a slow process sort of getting your athlete we, as we see a season's best 115.10 that's second in the free program so far for john and total competition score of 175.56 that'll put him overall for the moment at least into second place i think uh, mike and jonathan mills have a good plan for this athlete they have to be patient with them they're building one stage at a time and every person's different